In this video, I am going to show you how you can record your phone screen professionally. I will teach you the step-by-step -step way to record your phone screen, alright? So if this is what you are looking for, then let's jump right into the video. Alright guys, so there are two options for you to record your screen. Some Android phone and even iPhone comes with a screen recording option, alright? For you to get that, just go to your notification bar and just swipe right and you'll be able to see this voice screen recording all right so some phone does not have this and also this particular screen recording option right here does not have a lot of features all right you can only screen recording you can actually add some illustration while you are recording so let me quickly show you how to record your phone screen professionally using an application so the application we are going to be using for this tutorial is X Recorder. All right, just check the link in the description of this video to download X Recorder. So X Recorder is an application. It's like an external application that allows you to record your phone screen very professional by adding so many things while you are recording. You can show your face while you are recording. You can even draw on your screen. Maybe you want to show a particular thing you are doing. You can actually draw on your screen okay so that is why i don't really advise you to use the screen recorder you have on your phone before okay i prefer you using this particular application because it gives you access to more features while you are recording your screen once you download the application this is what you are going to see so once you see this just go to this setting so right here you have to set a lot of things for you to be able to produce a good recording all right so this audio setting as you can see this is mute and i want it to be from my microphone so i'll just tap microphone so anything i'm saying from my phone this particular application will pick the voice all right but if you put it to mute if you are just recording you won't be able to hear yourself you won't be able to hear anything in your recording that is why it is very, very important to set some things in x recorder before you just jump right into recording your screen so like i said i will put it to microphone that is your phone microphone then the volume you might just put it to um 200 i like that so once you are recording your voice will be loud and clear so that is why i always put it to 200 and this option here that says noise reduction so i don't really advise you to actually turn this on because if you turn this on it might affect your main recording your main voice in your recording so don't turn this on just make sure that when you are recording your full screen make sure it is very very silent there is no noise around that place so you can get a good sound all right so in the audio source we have internal audio and we also have internal and microphone so i just prefer you using only microphone so let's go back and let's move to the next setting so the next setting is this video setting that is also very very important all right so i'll just tap on it i don't always record my screen in 720p i record my screen in 180p all right this might take a lot of space in your phone but at least you get high quality video recording so this is very very okay make sure you put it to 180p and if you want to go for 720p that's also okay so you can put it to 720p if you want but like i said i always want it to be 180p all right and also this particular place where it says quality so just put it to auto all right and this particular one which says fps just leave it to auto also all right so let's move to the next setting which is this orientation so this orientation it depends on how you want to record your screen so if you want to record your screen in landscape mode then you can put it to landscape or if you want it to record your screen in portrait mode you can put it to portrait but i always leave it at auto so make sure you put the particular orientation to auto all right so the next thing is the save location so right here you have to choose where you want your video recording to save to so once you record your phone screen where do you want it to save do you want it to save in your internal storage or on your sd card that is if you have any sd card on your phone so right here i always want it to save in my internal storage and that is very very cool and the next one is the video segment size 
so right here don't touch anything here just leave it at this so let me just click on mark because this is not really important when we are recording our video and all these they are not really important like this right here avoid abnormal stop all these ones are not really important so the next thing you must do is the control setting so this is very, very important so the recording mode i love it to be in normal mode all right and the countdown before start so if you want to record your screen and you want it to count down like three two one before it starts recording then you might turn this on but i always off it because i just want to start my phone recording i don't want any countdown all right and the next thing is this pop up window after taking screenshot so if you take a screenshot and you want it to pop up in the window then you might turn this on all right and the next thing is hide recording saved window so this is the pro version you can't turn this on or you turn it off all right the next thing is hide floating board doing recording so just leave this like this and shake phone to stop recording i don't always turn this on so let's move to the tools so right here if you want to show your face while you are recording just turn on this camera as you can see where the arrow is showing make sure you turn on the camera that is if you want to show your face while you are recording your phone screen so i don't normally show my face while i am recording my phone screen so i don't always turn this on all right and the next thing is this brush so you might just turn this on maybe you want to draw anything on your screen while you are recording as you can see maybe i just want to point to this particular screenshot you can actually turn this on and this is also very very good because it helps your viewers to know what action you are taking on your video so if you just tell your viewers to actually click on something and you don't use this particular illustration then they might not know what to click on so that is why sometimes i use arrow to actually indicate what i want to do in my video all right so let's move to the next thing which is this trash so just leave this so you can just play around all these settings in x recorder because it is really really important before you start creating your video so you'll be able to have high quality video and you'll be able to have more features while you are recording your screen okay so we are done with this setting the next thing is how can you actually record your phone screen with this x recorder so after setting everything how can you start recording your phone screen in x recorder just come to this plus icon here as you can see where the arrow is showing so i'll tap on the plus icon so you have two options but right here i only want to record my screen i don't want to live stream or do anything about streaming and all that so i'll just tap on this record video and once you tap on it i'll click on ok then you can just click on start now all right so i can't really record right now because i am actually recording my screen right now so just click on start now like i said has your screen will start recording and you can just say anything you want to say while recording all right so this is the end of this video and also if you want to learn how i mock up my video just tap on the video that is showing on top of your screen right now to watch my video on how we can simply mock up your video so this is the end of this tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment